Welcome to the channel. If you're here, chances are you're a project or a program manager. But are you a professional? You might have a certification that says that you're a professional, but are you a professional in the true sense of the word? There are hallmarks and characteristics that make a person a professional. There are ways that they act and things that they do that set them apart. In this video, we're going to talk about those attributes of professionals and talk about ways we can up-level our game so that we can become professionals too. Because I want you to be a professional and not just an employee. Welcome to the Project Management Nation. Welcome to the Project Management Nation, the place where we talk about all things project management and where I encourage my viewers to think beyond the certification. Today's subject matter is a passion of mine. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people who are in their particular job and there's just no passion there. You can tell that they're doing the very minimum they can to keep their job. I see this in, in restaurant servers. I see this in customer support. I see it in uh, major corporations. Contrast that to people who have a real passion. They have a spark. There's a depth to the work that they're doing. You can tell that they are learning and they're growing. Those people are striving to become professionals. And we should strive to become professionals in our careers as well. In project management, the role that we do is critical to an organization. And typically, we're well compensated for the work that we do. So we should be investing, we should be taking the time to become the professionals we need to be. There is a certain set of characteristics and hallmarks of professionals. And we're going to talk about what those hallmarks are next. Let's talk about the qualities that make a true professional. The first is they're masters of their domain. They understand their profession inside and out. Second, they're open to continuously learning. They know that their profession changes and that they need to keep up with those changes. Third, they add to their profession. They might write articles, they might uh, work with others to help them uh, progress along the profession, but they're adding to their profession, not just taking from it. Fourth, they have a strong ethical base and a strong sense of integrity. Finally, they like to pass on their passion for their profession to the rising generation within their field. So let's think about the, the archetypal uh, professions that are out there. Medicine, law, architecture, things like that. Would you want to go to a doctor who is not a master of the medical domain? No, you wouldn't. Think about lawyers. Would you want to go to a lawyer without a strong sense of ethics? insert your lawyer joke here, but the bottom line is no, you wouldn't. We as project management professionals should be thinking about how we can act in, a, in the most professional way possible. Let's look at each of those professional qualities in more detail. Being a domain expert in project management means that you have both the knowledge and the experience to be able to solve an organization's most difficult problems. You have to be deep in both of those. One of my pet peeves is what I like to call paper project managers. These are project managers who have certification, but they really don't have that foundational knowledge, and they almost always have very little experience. These project managers dilute the value of our field, uh, and there's almost no excuse for that unless you're at the very beginning of your career and then you should have a plan to gain that knowledge and that experience. The other concern that I have is around attitude. There's an attitude that real domain experts have with them. It's easy for project managers to go through and fill out forms and templates and follow a process almost like it's a checklist. There's not a lot of value in that. A project manager that has deep domain expertise is actually out there thinking about the problem that they're trying to solve and using those templates as a way to aid them in that, not with the completion of that template as the end goal. That's a real difference in attitude, and that concerns me the most, because we can teach people actual knowledge, 
but you can't teach people attitudes. And so a project manager that does not have that investment to go beyond just filling out the forms is not gonna be successful in the long run in this career. A domain expert in project management knows how to take their deep knowledge and their deep learning and apply it. The other thing that project management domain experts have is a sense of authenticity. They'll be upfront and candid about the things that they're good at and where they're being stretched. And it's good to know when a project manager is being stretched because as a manager, you can help them to uh, bolster that area uh, where they might not be strong. It's the people who don't have that knowledge who are, who are trying to fake it that give me the greatest concern. Let's talk about the next attribute of being a professional, that of being a continuous learner. I have an experience from early in my career that helped me to see how important this is. When I was just 29, I was put in charge of my first team. This team was a group of system administrators uh, responsible for technical systems across the company. One of my employees was a gentleman who was getting near to retirement, and he was responsible for our VAX systems. VAX was an old computer system from the 1970s, and at the time, the company I was with had moved its products off of VAX, but had to still support customers who were using it. So there were only a few systems left in our data center that this man had responsibility for. I talked to him on multiple occasions about becoming a Windows administrator, a Unix administrator, or a Linux administrator, but he wanted nothing to do with that. He defined his world as VAX. And he knew that when the VAX machine rolled out, that he, his uh, job there would be over and he would roll into retirement. The problem with that it was that the company started looking for ways to save money. And as they reviewed budgets, they saw that this man's uh, salary and realized that, hey, if we could accelerate retirement of the VAX systems, we could save money. And that's exactly what they did. I had to lay that man off. And it was a sad day for both of us. But what made it worse is that this man could have avoided that had he uh, had a continuous learning mindset about him. So as project management professionals, how do we avoid the fate of the VAX administrator? Well, we learn to sharpen our skills. We do that by attending project management association meetings, by reading literature in the field, by getting additional certifications, and generally making ourselves uh, more um, involved in the project management world. And then I think it's important to look at project management as a career and as a profession in general. What I mean by that is 20 years ago, if you were a project manager and you said, I am a project manager that does waterfall project management, and then Agile came along, well, you could end up like my friend with the VAC systems. Uh, you could be out of a job. You have to be open and watching the new trends that are taking place in our field of study, be ready for them, embrace them, adopt them, and become masters of them if you are, are going to call yourself a professional. And then finally, I believe that you should go beyond the project management realm and really become um, a rounded person by looking at things that are going on in the world. One option that a lot of project managers do is they get further education. I, for example, went out and got an MBA. That helped me to understand the way businesses run in a really fundamental way and helped me up-level my business professional skills. I would recommend that you subscribe to current event magazines, Newsweek, The Economist. Those are great magazines for learning what's going on in the broader world around us. Uh, Harvard Business Review is a great resource for learning the latest business trends. There really is no end of material out there to make yourself a more rounded professional. I like to compare continuous learning to swimming in the ocean. As long as your arms are moving and you're kicking your feet, you're gonna be staying above the water and you'll be on top. As soon as you stop swimming, stop moving those arms and legs, stop gaining that professional knowledge, you start to slowly sink. So make sure that you have a plan for being a continuous learner. A third attribute of professionals is that they add to their field of expertise. The way we can do that in project management is to work with your local community chapters of project managers and actually contribute. 
Don't just be a sponge and absorb everything. Actively participate. Find ways to get involved in conferences. Find ways to volunteer to help in other project management organizations that will help to uplift everyone that's around you. Second idea, look inside your own organization. Uh, find ways to improve the project management methodologies and techniques that are being used. Volunteer to help. Find things that you can do that will be meaningful to your own organization. Finally, you can write articles, you can do blogs, you can do YouTube videos. Whatever the mechanism is, share your knowledge, share that learning that you've had with other people around you. Add to your profession. A fourth attribute of professionals is that they act ethically and with integrity. A professional is someone you trust to do the right thing, even if doing the right thing is hard. Think about what doctors have to do in a day. No less should be expected from us in our profession. In fact, I think that integrity is something that is non-negotiable. It should uh, be part of your DNA as a project manager. In fact, it should be part of your DNA as a human. But I can't influence all humans. Hopefully I can influence project and program managers to have more integrity and act ethically in all that they do. There are several ways that integrity intersects with our profession. One of the first ways is the way you write your status reports. I can't tell you how many times I've seen status reports come in showing that the project is green, when I know that in the, uh, the background there's a lot going on and that the project really should be yellow or maybe even red. In those circumstances, I know that the project manager is not being completely forthright and dodging a difficult discussion, and that's not right. A second way that integrity intersects with our profession is in the way that we talk about our skills and our abilities. If there's a project in another area that you'd like to take on, but you don't have domain expertise in that area, talk to your manager upfront about that. Say something like, I see that there's a project that's coming up over in this area. I don't have any experience over there, but that's an area that I've identified that I would like to learn to run projects in. Could you recommend me for that and support me if I go over there? If a project manager comes to me with a request like that, I am much more likely to want to see that project manager get that assignment. Whereas if the project manager asserts that they can do it and we find out later that they can't, that's a much worse discussion to be having. The third place that I see integrity intersect with our profession is in job interviews. I can't tell you how many times I've been sitting, having a discussion with someone and they're taking credit for a project or something done within a project that they weren't actually even leading the project. They were a supporting player or just a member on the team. And after asking a few more questions, I learned that. I, I cannot tell you how disappointed I am when people falsely represent the, th the activities that they've actually done within a project. And when I find that, that is absolutely a strike against the candidate. So make sure that when you are in an interview setting that you're being strictly ethical and explaining what you have done and the parts that you have not done because that'll win you more points in the end. As I said, acting with integrity is non-negotiable. Make sure that you work that into your plan to become a true project professional. A fifth attribute of professionals is that they love to share what they've learned with the rising generation in their field. This should be no different for those of us in the project management field. We should want to embrace those who are coming up through the ranks and share with them what we know. To me, the very best way to do this is to find those who are earlier in their career and take somebody under your wing and become a mentor or a coach. Building a strong mentoring and coaching relationship with someone is not just beneficial for that person, but it feels really good for you as the coach as well. I highly recommend it. In this video, we looked at the attributes that make a person a professional. It's my goal for each of us that we can not just be project management professionals, the certification, but that we can be professional project managers. And I think that there's a difference. I hope everyone aspires to be a true professional and adopt those characteristics into their careers. If there's anything that you've liked about this video and have learned anything, please like the video, subscribe to it, make comments below. 
appreciate your time. Thank you.